Hello everyone, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic sine, cosine, and tangent ratios numbers for side lengths. So in this instance, we have 7, 24, and 25 as our side lengths and angles A, B, and C making up this triangle. So we're going to use that information to find tangent of B, sine of B, and cosine of B. So very nice that we have the same angle as our reference. So we're always going to be in reference to this angle B up in the top here. So we're going to find tangent of B, sine of B, and cosine of B. So a lot of times when we approach this, we set it up so that we're in reference to this bottom angle here. So be very careful when you're picking, um, or more identifying really more than picking, uh, which ones, uh, which sides, if you will, are your adjacent and your opposite. Now, hypotenuse doesn't change uh, in regards to your reference angle, but adjacent and hypotenuse or adjacent and opposite will flip. So be careful. So tangent here uses both of those. So it's opposite over adjacent. So opposite is the one that I need to cut across the triangle to get to, as opposed to the leg here, which is directly next to angle B. It actually makes up half um, one side of angle B. So that would be the adjacent side. So opposite over adjacent would be 24 over 7. And we do want to reduce this if possible. Um, this is not going to reduce as 7 is, is prime and 24 is not divisible by it. Sine is going to be your opposite over your hypotenuse. So opposite was 24. So 24 over 25. That forcing it to be our hypotenuse for two reasons. One, it is the longest side, but two, it's also opposite that 90 degree angle. So cosine of B, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent side here is seven. So, and then and that'll be over that 25 again. So seven over 25. Just glancing back, none of those reduce. So we're done.